Praise the Lord. Can I have your attention? Before we get started with our service, I just want to make reference to uh,
Knight, Beverly Knight. We need to be in much prayer for her. Also, Scotty and Vanessa, let's pray for them. Uh, Sister Wanda needs our prayer. Let's continue to pray for her, that the Lord will heal her completely in her body. Uh, I want us to pray for about this COVID situation. Uh, it's, it's a mess. People are still dying, and we need to be in much prayer that God will keep us and protect us as he has thus far. And I'm, I'm of the mind to believe he's going to continue to do that. Amen. Pray for one another. Pray for the backslider. Sister Tanya, I'm going to make reference to it. I want us to pray for Daniel. I want to pray, us to pray for him and his, his job situation. There are other people's jobs and that which is job related here that is in need of much prayer. And uh, I want us to pray for this. Pray about it. Pops? Yes, sir. And we want to pray about the elections, that God has his way completely. Brother Malcolm Seal is deathly ill with this COVID in the hospital. I want us to pray for Sister Belinda that God will miraculously heal her of this crippling arthritis. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Heather Knight wants us to pray for a Paula Myers that she worked with at in Huntsville, she just recently had a stroke. Sister, let's pray for Brother Outlaw. Amen. Sister Sarah, your mother, let's pray for Sister. Sister-in-law, okay. Building fund. 1.3 million will be suffice right now. Amen. <laughs> I'm not, but I just know what I dreamed. <laughs> I'll go for the 2.5, too. But not. Brother David. Brother Gene, yes. Pray for Brother Gene. Please keep him in prayer. Uh, please. Sister Micah. The situation concerning him, Brother Maverick. Hadassah's arm. Hadassah, you have got one praying for you, baby. Jonathan. Aunt Melody. Amen. He's healing in her body. Believe in God for it. Sister Tina. Brother and Sister Violet in, in Georgia. The pastor there, they both have COVID, and he's really bad off. So Brother Brandon. Unity. How many of you agree with unity, Sister Tracy? Boy, if I were in Louisiana, I'd be repenting over some things. I don't know what. To, if this would be the third storm. I do want us to pray for Donald's mother as well. Uh, she recently experienced the loss of one that she was living with, but uh, that man he, I know has family, and, his, and they're in need of prayer. Pray for Donald and Paige that God will keep them. Brother Joseph. Mother-in-law and job-related. Okay, Brother Jordan. Brother Sister Cottrell, thank you. Amen. Jonathan. Mom and dad, lost loved ones, backsliders, Kim. Oh, yes, we received a call. Or I, my, wife, my wife, my daughter did, uh, from Kim Van Dyne. Some of you know who she is, and uh, she was crying for help last night, and uh, we want to be in much prayer for her. We sought to try to find a way to help her, and hopefully they'll be able to work something out, Sister Haley, Dalton, Tiffany, we're going to have a host of people this coming Saturday at our Fall Fest. Some backsliders, just remember them. Brother Wright.
Okay, let's remember this. Also remember a, <coughs> excuse me, a Dusty and Trish Carter, a couple I met here at the, at the uh, Trinity Cafe last weekend. She has cancer, is in need of prayer. Uh, Vicki Ramey, Sister Belinda. Yes. God's will to be done in her family's lives. Amen. Also, as, as far as Sister Belinda is concerned, her housing situation, should they have to move, she will have to move as well. So we want to pray that the Lord will make provisions there. Amen. Sounds like a great list here tonight. Sister Rachel. Let's pray for Emma. Let's pray for Emma. Amen. Uh, let's pray for Jimmy. God did a miracle in that man's life for a reason. Amen. I want us to pray for him. All right. Unspoken request. Spanish ministries. Remember Spanish ministries. Remember our outreach. Amen. Why don't we just spend a moment of prayer, brother? The, the needs are many. Mighty God, we come to you. We come imploring you on the behalf of every need here tonight. Pray, Lord, that you will grant and give to me and to this church family a great deal of wisdom, the spiritual wisdom that we need in terms of what to do, Lord, concerning our building and in regard to what we are to do, amen, as far as evangelism and outreach. God, help us to remain yet an unselfish people, yielding our time, our effort, and our energies to prayer, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, praying, dear Lord, to you with an expression of gratitude and thanksgiving, knowing, Lord, first of all, you hear us, and knowing, secondly, dear God, that in our... In your hearing, you answer, amen. I pray, Lord Jesus, for lost loved ones, backsliders. Amen. I pray for Mamma Forsyth. I pray for Beverly Knight. I pray for Heather Knight's friend, or God, who's recently suffered from this stroke. That you will undertake for this, this need, amen. Pray, Lord, for our building fund program, that you will multiply, amen, such funds, if it be your intent purpose for us to grow and to expand and build for the cause of your kingdom, that we may bring glory and honor to your precious name. Pray for Papa Outlaw, Lord, amen, that you will bring healing to his mind and spirit, and that you will be with him in his, his lonely moments. Pray for Emma. Pray for Jason Jordan. Pray for Sister Bethard, Lord. Pray for Mamma Forsyth. Pray, God, amen, for backsliders everywhere, along with a host of others that are labeled ill in body. Sister Melody, dear God, bring healing to her body and tonight in your precious name. Sister Belinda as well. Pray for her family, Lord, as you have heard and, and know well of her cry, amen, and prayers as she beseeches you on the behalf of those needs. Provide her with the housing needful and necessary, amen. God, I pray for Sister Wanda. Pray for Brother Joseph and that which is job-related as well as others, dear God, who are looking, amen, to find it, and to find that which would prove to be you of a great asset and benefit to them, not to them only, but also to that of your kingdom, that your kingdom may grow, amen. Oh God, we give you thanks and praise for all these things and the much more, knowing, Lord, that you will do above and beyond that of which we ask or think according to the power that resides and dwells and works well within us, each and every one of us, amen, as we come in unity and we pray lord that the spirit of unity remain yet among your people here but among not only here but among the church family as a whole everywhere 
God, and that we will remain yet unselfish in our quest and in our search for the things that bring you happiness. Amen. That bring joy to you. I ask it in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God, let your glory prevail here tonight. May your spirit be magnified. Amen. Within this, this building and beyond as others may be listening on live stream, I trust God that you will endow them and grant and give to them, amen, the supernatural means to overcome. Oh, loving Savior, we give you praise. <laughs> we give you thanks for it all, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of my God, I pray for Spanish ministries, Lord. Pray, Lord, for our outreach ministries. Pray, Lord, for spouses, lost loved ones, Donald Page, that you will give to them traveling grace. Brother and Sister Cottrell, Lord, that you will strengthen and keep them by your grace and mercies. Pray, Lord, amen, for all nationalities, for all ethnicity. God, for this is an hour for which we must remain yet in constant pursuit. Amen. And unending quest of your perfect and divine will in regard to all matters concerning our lives and the lives of others. God, we give you praise. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise, shall we? Let's give God thanks for it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Someone shout, Jesus. He's the reason I'm still alive. Amen. Why don't we sing tonight like we're alive? Amen. And offer our praises and sing inspiration unto God.
to do something we've never, that I recall doing before. I want us to have a victory lap. Tonight, without realizing the order of the service, and you're gonna find out in a second when we go to the next song, it's all about victory, victory, victorious, okay? We're gonna see the victory. But before we see the victory, what's coming to my mind is Jericho. When they marched, and on that seventh lap, what happened? They gave a shout for victory, for praise. So tonight, I don't want us to necessarily be worried about COVID because I know God's got his hand on us. But right now, just around the center lap, the center, all of us, all of us. And then we're going to come out and we're going to give a shout of praise. Because there's going to be some walls that are torn down tonight. In the name of Jesus.
shout like we've never given a shout before. Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
praising his name Jesus. praising his name Jesus can't stop stop praising his name I just can't stop praising his name I just can't stop praising his name Jesus I cannot I will not I shall not stop. I can't stop praising his name
press to tell you this. I want some of you, amen, to just get away from your comfort zones right now. I want you to go to minister someone. Come on, go out of your way. I know you say, well, I'm, I'm not comfortable with doing it. That's why I'm calling for you to do it. Just get out of your comfort zones, amen. If God's already laid it upon your heart, some of you, to go and pray with somebody, to go and minister someone. So I want you to go and minister to that soul right now, amen. Pray with them. Yeah. Satan, you're a liar. Jesus has all power. That's it, Brother Wright. You can't keep me down. I'm yeah.
Come on, we shout with a battle cry, yeah! Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is, hap this is what happens when you and me and we get into the fight together. Amen. Get in the fight together. Come on, Joseph. Ah. Yeah, uh. Come on, Megan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Victorious. You know what? Most all these songs that were sung tonight, don't, don't fear, I'm not going to preach. Don't frighten about it. I was going to read my text from out of Hosea chapter 2 and verse 15, though. Where God spoke to the nation of Israel, I will give her vineyards from thence in the valley of Achor for a door of hope. And she shall sing there in the days of her youth. The title of the message was going to be Victory Out of Defeat. Victory Out of Defeat. How many of you felt defeated when you got here tonight? Did you feel defeated when you got here? How do you feel now, Sister Sarah? Weak? <laughs> uh, that's not a bad thing. That may have a lot to do with our age, you know. It. <laughs> you feel victorious, though, tonight. God intended for all to leave here victorious tonight. That's what I believe. That's the reason why I was going to preach this tonight. I wanted you to know God intends for you to leave here with victory. Well, the Spirit of the Lord ministered. And the secretary says, after that, we need a good offering now. And so we've talked about uh, building and building funds. 500 souls in the new building. You believe that, brother? Amen. I believe it. There's no stop in the church that believes that way, I can assure you. Amen. We just walked a victory lap, some run. Yes. How many ran? No one ran. I, I didn't see anyone run. In fact, I don't think we would have done much run if we had had the chairs pulled in and we made a complete lap around the outer walls and parameters of this building. So, But uh, let's be in much prayer. Please pray. Pray that God will give to us wisdom above all and everything else because Sometimes when you're out of sync or out of step with the Holy Ghost, things don't go quite as well as we would like for them to. But if God's in it, there's no stopping it. Amen. And, and I can assure you, if we build, it won't be because I want to. It'll be because we have to. Okay. And uh, I believe we're just about there. And uh, so... I want to thank the Lord today for the amount of funds that we do have. And I'm not, I know a lot of people say, well, you shouldn't, shouldn't uh, expound upon the amount. Well, it takes money. Some have given sacrificially in the past. And there are going to be others that give sacrificially before it's said and done. And that $1.3 million, Brother Remington, and you still keep praying for that. And I think Dad's convinced it's going to be 2.5, okay? So I'll let you and him discuss that, okay? I was awakened early Saturday morning. Could not sleep. I don't know if it has to do with age or if the Lord deals with me or what, you know. Both. <laughs> you know, you're going to get in a lot of trouble. You keep that up. <laughs> yeah, he was giving me a hard time about my age moments ago. <laughs> I love it, though. How many of you appreciate the fact that Brother David is here? Amen. Amen. I, 
We appreciate this young man. I, uh, but I woke up and started to read, and, and I got under a burden, and part of it involved the building. The vast majority of it involved souls. How many of you ever began to pray and just faces just started, just, you know, you could see faces of people just in front of you. And those faces started popping up. And I began to weep. Holy Ghost took over. I probably prayed an hour and a half Saturday morning. I love those moments where the Lord moves upon you. And then when I see what has happened this morning and again tonight, it's all a reaffirmation and confirmation or reassurance to me that God's hand is on this church. Great things are happening. Miracles, signs, and wonders are taking place. I know why Jimmy's alive today. Because this church has prayed. I know others have been healed and delivered of cancer. It's because this church has prayed. And I know why backsliders are coming home, because the church is praying. What looks to be like defeat to some is not defeat to God. It's just... It's just a stepping stone toward victory. Amen. If I'm not careful, I'll preach this message. But I, can't. I, I love you. And I'm not just tossing that word out there. I mean that. I love children. I love seeing these children pray. And I, I love it when they come up here and they wrap their arms around me and they start praying for me. Don't you take offense to a child that comes and wraps their arms around you and starts praying for you. You don't know what blessings may come your way as a result of that prayer. Because they have faith. Sometimes we're unable to tap into it ourselves. I can recall a time to where my daughter called upon there was used to be a I remember Brother James and Sean our brother sister Johnson that used to come to church years ago yeah. Brother Johnson looked over to my daughter she was just a wee little thing then <laughs> then <laughs> yeah she's she's an adult now that's what I mean by that just, uh, yeah. but she uh he looked at her and said Pray for my knee. It is hurting severely. And she touched his knee, prayed for him, and immediately the pain was lifted. And the Holy Ghost fell on that man. I'd never seen such a thing in my life. We had pews then. But his back was on the back of that pew, Sister Kathy. And he was teetering back and forth like this, just shaking. And I thought, I've never seen the likes of that before. And he wasn't small in stature. And he wasn't young. <laughs> but, I mean, balanced. It's amazing what the Holy Ghost can do, hey, man, when, when he moves upon a person. And he testified. He said, that little girl prayed for me, and I was instantly healed. It's amazing. That's when she was a child. When these children pray, my little granddaughter came to me moments ago and said, 
Dad, I don't know about anyone else. But I've been blessed tonight. I said, I think there's been a lot of people blessed tonight. These children are taking note of what's going on. Well, without any further delay, we, we broke all kinds of uh, safety codes here tonight in regard to the COVID. Do you hear that, that voice of faith? There's no COVID in God's presence. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what we want right there. And it's precisely how I feel. COVID is not to hinder nor impede the will of God from being accomplished within our church services. So since we have broken man's code, uh, but not God's law, we're going to ask Jonathan to help in taking up our evening offering. And uh, I want Gracie to come and help tonight as well. Amen. And we're going to give these two an opportunity. Here's the other offering plate over here, Gracie, okay? And when they come by, you just drop, drop your money, whatever the Lord lays upon your heart to give here tonight. Do so in Jesus' name. And everyone say, in Jesus' name. God will bless you as a result. But before we go any further, I will make by way of announcement. We do have our end time magazines in. There is a stack up here. I'm taking one now. So feel free to take one home with you. Read this material. Share the information with others. Jesus is coming soon. Let's give as unto the Lord. And in your giving, look to your neighbor. Amen. Say, what a joy it is to give. Amen. This Saturday is the fall festival. Fall festival. At Thank 12. You. At 12. If I've told you to bring something, please bring it. I'm looking at you, David. <laughs> if you would like to bring something, come talk to me. I'm sure I can find something for you to bring. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love you guys. If you missed the offering plague, feel free to come up here. We'll let you in there. Let you go a second time around. Amen. He's good. Let's go ahead and sing in dismissal in Jesus' name. We can take a victory lap. Amen.